year frac function calculates the fraction of the year represented by the number of whole days between two dates. Here is the syntax for year frac function. Start date, a date that represents the start date. End date, a date that represents the end date. The year frac function has an optional argument basis that controls how days are counted when computing fractional years. When the basis is zero or omitted, Excel uses US 30 by 360 day count basis. It counts days between two dates based on a 360 day year where all 12 months are considered to have 30 days. One tells Excel to divide the actual number of days per month by the actual number of days per year. Two, actual days per month divided by 360. Three, actual days per month by 365. Four, European 30 by 360. Note that basis zero, the default and basis four both operate based on a 360 day year, but they handle last day of month differently. With the European Convention Basis 4, start dates and end dates equal to the 31st of a month are set to the 30th of the same month. Example fraction of year between Jan 31st, 2019 and Jan 25th, 2021 is same as between Jan 30th, 2019 and Jan 25th of 2021. Same with the end dates. With the basis zero, the US convention, when the start date is the last day of the month, it is set to the 30th day of the same month. When the end date is the last day of the month and the start date less than 30, the end date is set to the first day of the next month. Otherwise, the end date is set to the 30th of the same month. You can see the examples for basis zero with the different start and end dates. If start date or end date is not a valid date, year frac function returns the pound value error. 6 by 32 is a invalid date. If basis less than zero or greater than four, year frac returns the pound num error value. The practice Excel file can be downloaded by clicking on the link in the video description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.